Hey you, Meowkaiser coming at you today with some new player tips. Before we begin, if you're new to this channel, I upload Dragon 1 gameplay videos every single day at 8pm EST, as well as videos like this whenever I feel like it. If that's something you think you'd like, then please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. It's free and you can always unsubscribe. With that out of the way, here are 8 tips to help you learn the game faster. Now my first tip is that you should be browsing the index in between games. The index has so much information that's available for you to use that you wouldn't know about it in the game. It tells you about how damage calculation is done, where animals spawn, how to craft certain items, how many of each item is in an area, and so much more. To find the index, open up the experiment tab in the left hand side of the screen. These tabs will actually show you everything you need to know. We have the item tab, which will show you how to craft every single item in the game. We have the area tab that will show you where all the spawns are, and if you click on this you can actually see more information. We have the wild animals that will show you where they spawn and as well as what is in their drop table. This isn't very specific, but you can actually check the wiki to get a little bit more information on that. And then we have the guide with all the calculations, everything you need to know about how this game works. My second tip is to familiarize yourself with the crafting interface. The crafting interface is more than just a tool for crafting items in the game. It gives you a lot of information too. Did you pick up a new item and you don't know what to craft with it? Open up the crafting interface and at the top, it'll show you the different items you can make with it. You can also go down a layer by clicking down here, and you can actually just keep going around. The hotkeys for these on the computer are actually the number keys, so if I press 2, it'll just bring me straight to the leather jacket. If I press 1, I can go to the rider jacket and see how to make that. It's very important to figuring out how to do these things, as well as the crafting interface also tells you where you can find it and how many they are, provided that the locations are open. If the locations are not open, you can always hit set target and it'll show you where to find that as well. If the item has a passive, it, you can actually click on this icon over here and it'll tell you exactly what it does. My third tip is to experiment and use the set target a lot. You want to be learning how to craft all the items eventually. Try to get out of your comfort zone and craft something you haven't before. Being aware of your options will help you get to full build more of your games, even if it means losing games while you're still learning the craft system. It's okay to lose games, especially if you're learning. To use the crafting, excuse me, not the crafting system. To use the set target system, click on this over here. Let's say we wanted to make Vibroblade for the first time. And here it'll show us everything we need. My fourth tip is to use the free character rotation a lot. It's okay to like one character, but early on you want to try out multiple different characters to see if there's a play style you particularly like. Meaning one character can help you hit dragon as quickly as possible, but if you're not enjoying yourself while playing the game, then there isn't really much reason to do so. The free character rotation lets you try out different characters to see if there's something you want to spend time to learn. My fifth tip is to avoid the five star normal queue. It's called master uh, start, and it lets you play with five star characters. When you're in herbivore, you can play 1 star, 2 star, 3 star, 4 star Q, and when you hit uh, Elephant, I believe, you gain the option to play the 5 star Master Start, right? Not only do people not try in that queue, but there's also a lot of Dragon 5 players who go there to pub stomp. Generally not a good experience in there, so if you're a herb, just use the other normal star queues. Or if you're in Carnivore rank, just start playing ranked matches. The rank system will try to put you up against players that are more your skill level, whereas this queue doesn't even try. My sixth tip is to watch high-level players and ask questions. There are a lot of high-level players who stream and make content for this game. If you do watch them, try to understand their decisions they make, and anything you don't understand, ask questions. You're always welcome to ask questions in my comment section, or send me a message on Discord. If you can't see what's going on because they play too fast, feel free to slow down the video to a speed where you can watch it. And number seven, don't focus on playing fast. If you're not super confident on crafting quite yet, playing super fast is actually detrimental to you. Earlier on, make sure you're seeing the items and you're thinking about what you can do with them. The speed of the game will come as you play more and you get more familiar with where things are on the screen. Number eight, don't pull up a root while you're playing. Roots are written for ideal situations and could be potentially helpful while first learning the game. However, it's important to be flexible in learning the different options you have branching out of a start. Reading roots is fine, but I really don't recommend following a route to the dot while in the game. Basically, read the roots when you're outside the game, but when you're inside the game and playing it, don't have the route pulled up to the side of your screen. It'll force you into trying to make that route work rather than trying to figure out what you can do in the moment. And with that out of the way, that's my eight tips for beginners. I hope this helps you pick up the game faster. If you have any questions, leave some comments below, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.